How the Blind See Rainbow We know the story of the blinds seeing an elephant. Have you ever thought about how a blind see a color? What do you think of when you think of a rainbow? If you are sighted, you are probably imagining colors arcing through the sky just after the rain. What about someone who had never seen a rainbow or even colors? How does a congenitally blind person's knowledge of a rainbow, or even something as seemingly simple as the color red, differ from that of the sighted? The answer, Alfonso Karameza said, is complicated. There are similarities but also important differences. The Daniel and Amy Starch Professor of Psychology, Alfonso Karameza is postdoctoral fellow Ellis Trimamat and Xioying Wang and Yan Kaobai from Beijing Normal University. He is the co-author of a new study that suggests that, although the blind experience colors differently, the sighted and the blind are still able to share a common understanding of abstract visual phenomena like rainbows and color. The study is described in December 7, 2018 paper, published in Nature Communications. The question here is how do we represent things that don't have an external physical reality, something we can't touch or smell? If you think about it, this is not just a problem for the blind, it's a problem for everyone. Most of us have only a very vague understanding of what those things actually are, with no way to directly experience. People lean heavily on language to understand or describe them, using words like strange and charm. And the same is true for blind people seeking to understand color. One can use language to describe things that are physical. A blind describes a cup, as a hard object that's concave and it's non-porous, to put liquids in it. Those descriptions are things having some physical experience of, so can be associated on that experience. But there are some concepts for which no one cannot do that. Color is a surface property of an object, but there's no way for anyone to tell a blind person what that sensory experience is, because it's a purely visual experience. So the way they learn about red is the way you and I learn about concepts like justice or virtue, through a verbal description or use in verbal contexts. Scientists have known for decades that abstract and concrete concepts are represented in different parts of the brain, that understanding how the blind experience and understand visual concepts like color can help shed new light on how the brain is organized. One hypothesis for how knowledge is organized in the brain proposes that representations of the things we know are optimally connected to other parts of the brain that are necessary for processing that information. For example, knowledge of something one can see will be organized in a part of the brain that is easily connected with the visual system. But what about color in the blind? It cannot be represented in an area that's connected to visual processing because they learn about it through language, it will be organized in an area that is especially well connected with language processing. So if the question is where does a blind person store a representation of a rainbow in their brain, they store it in the same area where a sighted person would store a representation of a concept like justice or virtue. To see that process in action. Karametsu and his colleagues recruited both blind and sighted volunteers and used fMRI scanners to track activity in their brains as they performed various tasks, including answering questions about rainbows and colors. They found that, in the congenitally blind, the neural responses for red were in the same areas as the neural responses for justice. The abstractness of something like red in the blind is the same as the abstractness of virtue for the sighted and in both cases that information is represented in a part of the brain where information is obtained through linguistic processes. The study's findings suggest there are similarities between how the blind and the sighted interpret concepts like color, the answer is still far from definitive. The organization of concepts in the brain is determined by different principles, one of which is how the information is acquired. But the question of whether the blind and the sighted actually have different concepts of red, that's the hard problem. That's a philosophical question at this stage. It's not something we know how to address scientifically, because we are talking about personal, private experience. What is remarkable, 
is that despite those differences in how the blind experience colors and how they are represented differently in their brain, the blind and the sighted are able to understand color in similar ways. You could be talking to a blind person, and if you didn't know they were blind, you would never suspect that their experience of red is different from yours, because in fact they do know what red means. They know what rainbow means in the same way you come to know what justice means. Thank you.